All right, I have cool stuff to show you. Do not react to what you see. Come really close. And remember, don't worry about the smell, just manage it. Nifty. Okay, come over here, take a look. Oh, I see them. Okay, there's a, not, not a lot. We'll find some more maybe on the other side. Get it set up, get yourself a good, nice, clear picture. We're going for different size, we're going for clusters. So right now you're finding the larger ones. So what do we expect to see when you pull this out? Today's lesson was supposed to simulate um, a body being found that had been decomposing for a while. Um, so we used a dead chicken. This chicken's been outside since Friday and there were maggots um, of different stages crawling inside and out of the chicken. Look up at the screen. Oh, that's ah! Where is that? These are maggots from the chicken. I'll move it around for you a little bit. How big are the maggots? Are they all the same size? No. Okay. How does that help us investigative-wise? Larger maggots, smaller maggots? The bigger ones are, have, are older and have been there for a longer period, okay. like amount of time. Okay. So largest maggots are going to take us back closest to the actual time of death because they were laid first. I'm a little bit disgusted by the maggot part. Well, everything else I've been pretty fine with, but the maggots really got to me. Sure, it smells terrible, but it's very interesting and you learn a lot. Some people might use the term gross. Uh, I try to stay away from terms like that because there's a negative implication that something's bad. They say, oh, this is gross. I say, it's not gross, it's science. Forensic science class was started approximately 15 years ago. And when I got here 11 years ago, it was a half year class. Uh, it's grown so much now that we actually have seven classes. There's another teacher. And we teach almost uh, 200 plus students uh, forensic science every day. This class itself, as a forensic science class, is not unique in the fact that there are probably 2,000 plus classes like this going on throughout the United States at this time. You know, go around, take a good look. All the way in the back, there's a lot. Yep. <laughs> as far as the media and people's interest in forensic science, if you were to look at a TV guide today, you would see 35 to 40 shows probably every week relating somewhere to forensic science, whether it's a drama, whether it's a real life type show, whether it's a CSI type show, with repeats and all, 35 to 40 a week. It's, it's incredibly media driven and a lot of the students I get out in this class come straight from that. I think it's great for my class because the fact is we can look at it and we can say, well, what's real? And we can say what's not real. I like seeing how shows get it wrong. Like I can point out three or four mistakes every time I watch it. There might be some behind this clear one too. Well, we're, you're going to flip it over in a minute. Once she gets that picture, I'm going to have you flip it over and see if we can see anything else. Thanks. The program in this class is a very mixed program. I, I try to incorporate lots of different aspects of forensic science. I like to do some medical. Uh, and up on one of the windows, I have an x-ray that um, came to me from someone that has a bullet lodged in someone's chest. We have shoe print castings around the room. There are these posters I have up with fingerprints on them and different uh, tire marks. Uh, we have blood spatter because I try to really make this to an authentic setting if I can, as authentic as I can make it. If you get really close, okay, you'll be able to see some maggot activity on the top. The goal of the class ultimately is to teach the kids how to think and how to process information. Uh, the forensics, while it is the the, the title of the class and the focus of the class is kind of the icing on the cake. Once these classes got started, people saw it was another way that they could learn science and teachers saw it was another way they could teach science. I didn't, I didn't actually have to take a science this year. I chose to take this. I have a very good time. It's one of my favorite classes. Fun. It's really fun. I had a lot of fun in this class. I always, I go home and I tell my mom all these facts. Sometimes at dinner and she's like, okay, Annie, stop. <laughs> to come home with these facts about forensic science. I like it though.